We're going to multiply a one-digit number by a three-digit number using the area model. I'm going to start by drawing my rectangle. And I'm going to make the top and bottom of the rectangle, those sides, the top side and bottom side, longer because it's going to be representing the amount in each of the rows. So there will be 412. I'm going to decompose the 412 into 400 plus 10 plus 2 to represent the hundreds, tens, and ones. Here I'm writing the number to represent the rows. Again, 412 is the amount in each row. So I'm going to start by writing my 400. Then I have 10. Then I have 2. Then I'm going to have the students write the number in each row, the number of rows times the number in each row of each section in their rectangle just to help them with the steps of multiplying. So 6 times 400, that's the first expression, then 6 times 10, or 6 rows of 10, and then 6 rows of 2. So I know 6 times 4 is 24. If I had 40, that's 10 times greater than 24, so then that would be 240. Then I have 400, which is 10 times greater than that, which would be 2400 or 2400. 6 times 10 is 60, and 6 times 2 is 12. So we have part of our product because we decomposed that three-digit number. So we need to join those totals back together. So I'm going to add them up together over here on the side, lining them up based on their place value. And our product is 2,472. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like if we flip the factors or we switch the factors. If 412 was first and then six came next, how would it look different? How would it look the same? So instead of my rectangle going this way, it's gonna be a little bit taller. All right, so I'm gonna draw my rectangle here. I'm gonna move this up, make sure you can see. I know there's gonna be six in each row, and again, I'm breaking my 412 up, 412 up based on place value. So I have 400 first, that takes up the most space. Then I have 10, then I have two. So again, I'm gonna write my equations or my expressions inside the rectangle. 400 rows of six, 10 rows of six, two rows of six. Four times six is 24. 10 times greater than that is 240. 10 times greater than that is 2,400. 10 rows of 6 is 60, and 10 rows of 6 is 12. I have part of the product, so I need to join them together by adding. So I'm going to rewrite them and line them up based on their place value. And then I would want students to add them together here. So we have 2 in the 1's place, 7 in the 10's place, 4 in the 100's place, and then 2 in the 1000's place. So the product, again, is 2,472. We multiplied a one-digit number by a three-digit number, then a three-digit number by a one-digit number using the area model.